Jay Haynes of the Film Sensei YouTube channel. I'm coming to you directly from my spaceship, which is currently orbiting Saturn. So today in this video, I am going to talk about how to create AI backgrounds for use in HitFilm. So to develop the interior in AI, I used three different uh, free AI software, starting with Stable Diffusion. I also used TensorArt and Leonardo AI. First, though, I went to Google and I typed in Spaceship Interior AI Art Prompt. And then I found that Prompt Hero had a pretty good idea of what I was looking for. And so, uh, you know, I started clicking on these things and then finding the keywords that they were using and ultimately I created this prompt right here which is spaceship deck interior hybrid detail trending on art station sharp focus studio photo etc so on and so forth and I just copied that and then I went ahead and I went into stable diffusion and clicked on get started for free under the prompt I went ahead and pasted that there and then said generate you'll notice that it takes a little bit of time i'm uh, in the 27 by 27 q so while i was waiting for that uh i went to tensor art and i'm going to use something pretty realistic let's look up photo and let's go with this one and then we'll use run and i'll just go ahead and go into the prompt and select that and say generate then it will be doing that while that's happening i'm going to go to leonardo ai and say launch the app yes i'm whitelisted and then i will use say for example photo rail generate with this model not now and after i entered the prompt here uh then you can see that i got a couple of design choices which i downloaded Okay, so this was the Leonardo AI that I got. This was the Stable Diffusion one that I got. And this was the Tensor Art one that I got. And that's the one that I ended up using. I also went ahead and looked at Adobe Express. Since I have a membership to Adobe, I have Adobe Premiere. Uh, I went ahead and had it generate a few of those for me as well. And then also, since I have a membership with Runway ML, I went ahead and had Runway ML generate a few of these as well for me. Then I brought them into HitFilm. So in HitFilm, I'm going to go ahead and create a new composite shot, and I want it to be the standard HD size. I'll just click OK. Opening up my background stills, I'm going to find the one that I like and drag it in. You'll notice that it is a little bit narrow, so I will just right click and under transform, I will fit to frame width. This will change the width of the picture to be the width of the frame. Opening up my uh, video file, I will just go ahead and bring in the raw video here. And just so that there's no noise being made, I'm going to go ahead and mute that. And putting it on top uh, i can go ahead and just make some adjustments here so that it looks reasonably good here within the frame and then when i'm happy with that i can go ahead and create a garbage mat which will be something like this that goes around the frame to get or the picture to get the uh, edges out and then i can go ahead and bring in a green screen key and i'm actually going to use the green screen key preset um and then i would do some checking to make sure that it looks good and you know it actually looks pretty good and i might make a slight adjustment on that yeah okay let's just go with that um and then there's a mat cleaner which is doing its job and of course the spill removal to get rid of the green um on it there then um, of course, I want to add a light wrap effect uh, so that it looks like I'm actually sitting inside of there. So we'll drop that on here and then source the Tinsor Art layer. Um, I think I'll address, make that a little bigger, right? That kind of a thing. And so now you can see uh, that I look like I'm sitting inside of this spaceship. The only thing I would do is a little bit of color grading. 
to make sure that I match the environment. And then I have something that looks like this. Jay Haynes, the Film Sensei YouTube channel. I'm coming to you directly from my spaceship, which is currently orbiting Saturn. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Hit that bell icon for notifications. And thanks for watching.